there it is right there, fan blade stuck. Pull it. Alright. Yeah, the fan blade broke off. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So I need another fan blade. At the least, right? Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released yeah, for you. Not running. There it is right there, fan blade stuck. Pull it. Alright. Yeah, the fan blade broke off. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So I need another fan blade. At the least, right? Goodness gracious. Alright. We have saved the blade from another unit. Crazy thing is these can be pretty crazy to change out or to get the old blades off is always fun. So I'm gonna need to go grab some grab some stuff and change it out. Alright. Got my new fan blades here. Well, not exactly new, but salvaged them from another, another job. Some gloves definitely make working on the fan motor much better. And then my drill with a 5 16 inch uh, socket. That makes that much better, much faster. Um, Gonna go through and just there it goes. Remove all the bolts. And then we gotta discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge even after the power is connected. So nice Palm Springs morning. We're getting a hundred today. Triple digits are here. Here we go, and I got to get the rock off the top there. Save our deals there. Okay. Rock is off the top. All right, and we got to discharge our capacitor. Capacitor, charging it. Even after the power is disconnected. Uh, other tools that make fan motor change much easier is vice grips, emery cloth, and a little spray lube. Okay, now we're going to discharge the capacitor. There we go, we're discharged. Discharge the little one just in case. And then we're going to need to disconnect the wiring here. Okay, so here's our fan. Okay, and then the two wires for the fan. Blue is going to white, or sometimes yellow. And the black one to black. Everything else looks okay in the wiring. I'll be checking the capacitor. Um, I'll go ahead and disconnect the start for the start wire and the compressor lead. The hard start lead, not the compressor Here. lead. This one, I'd like to flip around the connections to make it a little easier for the future. I might do that. Switch these around. Make life better for the future, in theory. This way. Now at least the start wire will be facing me instead. Make that just so much easier to disconnect. Because that's how we're mostly testing it. So that's how I'm going to be doing in the future. Okay. Meter. Do a quick microfarad test on these. Let's see how we're doing. Here. 
here's our main one. We got 33.8, that's good. And the little five, 4.91, that's good. So our capacitors are good, we just lost a fan blade, that's all. So now I'm gonna take the lid off, and we're gonna take the wiring right through. Deal in the shade. Now I'm gonna take the emery cloth and snap the post real good. And that blade just came apart. <laughs> Foil tape, duct tape. Nah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to kind of keep blowing this out so that the duct doesn't go in the open. Sand this off good. up real good. junk so I can take these all the way out actually spray my lube down in there usually I wouldn't take these all the way out I'll save these nuts just in case I need them down the road maybe useful to have a couple of those Since the rest of this blade is no good Saw another whole set of blades on the roof somewhere, but I don't remember where. I might move the reversing wires down into the deal here if I don't need them poking through. Um, I'm hoping this fan blade motor is okay after everything. I actually don't know that for sure, but... This one's fighting me all the way down. Okay. A little bit 
down in the down in the holes. There we go. And now I'm gonna clamp this on underneath it. Probably gonna take this blade, finish the job off. At least get it out of my way. It works real good it's, if you can clamp it. And now the, the through bolts will help keep it steady. Pull it right out. Who needs a fan blade puller? Alright, now's our new one. That went really good. <laughs> There's our new one. Uh, before I get too far and I forget, I'm going to go ahead and pass these reversing wires down and through so that they have less. Actually, I take it back. They're already through the ground wire. So, uh, what's another few years like that? I don't know. I thought about it, but... <laughs> not going to be worth it for me for where it would be positioned it's actually safer where it's at so that's that all right and I need to get this AC up and running so here's our new blades going to line up we don't need this anymore going to line up the flat portions with the flat portions of this deal Yeah. And we're going to push this back to where we want it, which is right there. Where we're not hitting the thing, but we're up in around the shroud. So we're not hitting any of the, the through bolts. And finger tighten these down, and then we'll finish the job. These are the things that make life a little easier when changing out fan motors is spray lube, emery cloth. And vice grips especially. And a drill with a 5 16 inch socket. Speed. Speed things up. You know, like we're busy, we're always in a hurry. <laughs> Kind of take your time and do it right. All right. Okay, we're on. Okay. And it's actually touching that shroud. That's probably what happened the first time. So, I. I See if we can tighten it down at all. If not, then then uh, here. Then we'll need to move the blades out a little bit because we don't want them rubbing on that at all.
those are all tight. Move this here, hold this up. are nice and tight. Now we're ready. Ready to clip this puppy back on. Okay. Guys, this trick a few times where you take the screwdriver and give it a little twist and push it through. Busy, busy Monday. It is. Okay. screws anchor under the shroud deal. Yeah, 
completely broke apart. We're done with the gloves. We've checked our computers already. Good. Okay, so the white one's gonna go to yellow, and to blue. Black one to black. Then our two leads to the capacitor is black to black. And now we're, now we're really tight, <laughs> so that's good. Okay, so now our start wires. And again, I'm positioning this where I can get it off here in the nice in the future. As we've moved that around. Made it easier for testing in the future. All right. <laughs> okay, we are ready, ready to run, ready to plug the disconnect in, here goes. Springs. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Back in the mix. All right. Pack up my tools. The bucket made this one fairly nice and easy. It's a good thing we moved those fan blades down a little bit with that wobble. Definitely would have hit that shroud for sure. Fan baffle. Maintenance. Survive another day. All right. 
nice and cold. All right, that was it. Goodness gracious. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are, you should find a bunch of different material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs.